Hello, my name's Holly Dee and I'm a Registered Associate Nutritionist at ESX. Today I'm going to be talking you through some tips to help reduce your risk of type 2 diabetes. But first, what is type 2 diabetes? Type 2 diabetes is where the insulin that your pancreas makes isn't able to work properly or your pancreas isn't able to make enough insulin. As a result, your blood sugar levels continue to rise to an unhealthy level. Around 90% of people with diabetes in the UK have type 2 with around 13 million estimated to be at risk of developing the condition. There are a number of factors which can contribute towards your risk of developing type 2 diabetes, such as family history, age, ethnicity, and lifestyle factors. Unfortunately, there's not always things that we can do to help with these factors, but there are some things that we can do still to help reduce your risk of type 2 diabetes. My first tip today is to choose whole grain. So carbohydrates are an important part of a healthy balanced diet, but adults in the UK are recommended to choose whole grain carbohydrates when they can. This is because whole grain carbohydrates contain more fiber than white carbohydrates. So some examples of these include brown rice, whole grain pasta, whole grain bread, and oats, for example. So the reason that this is so important is because because of that extra fiber, it's broken down more slowly in our body, which means that it helps to maintain healthier blood sugar levels, which in turn reduces your risk of type 2 diabetes. My second tip today is to reduce the amount of sugary drinks that you're consuming. Research shows that there is a link between consuming sugary drinks, like canned fizzy drinks, for example, and an increased risk of type 2 diabetes. So where you can, try and opt for diet or reduce sugar options of these drinks. And where you can, limit juice and smoothies to one small glass per day. My third tip today is keep moving. Being more active helps reduce our risk of type 2 diabetes because when we exercise, the sugar in our blood is transported into our muscles, which helps to maintain healthy blood sugar levels. It's really important to try and find a form of movement that you enjoy so that you can keep this as part of a, your regular lifestyle rather than having an all or nothing mindset around exercise. Keeping moving can be as simple as going for a five minute walk at lunchtime or just trying to get into the habit of taking the stairs. These small differences can add up to make a big difference over time. My fourth and final tip today is to include more healthy fats into your diet. Adding more healthy fats into your diet, such as those that can be found in nuts, seeds, olive oil, avocados, and oily fish, can help to maintain healthy cholesterol levels. In turn, this helps to reduce your risk of heart problems and also helps to reduce your risk of type 2 diabetes as well. For more information about diabetes and to calculate your risk, you can head to diabetes.co.uk. If you're concerned that you might be at risk of type 2 diabetes, then please seek support from a health professional such as your GP. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. And don't forget to follow us over on Instagram at WeAreESS.